friends to day two of our month of prayer. Uh, if you're joining with me, welcome. And uh, just to remind you what we're doing, we're joining with our denomination, the Presbyterian Church in America, uh, for a, a month of, of focused prayer. Uh, to guide us during our, our month of prayer, the, the PCA has put out a, uh, a prayer guide which looks like this, and of course, the I have the link there uh, under the YouTube video. You can you can check that out. Uh, just to to guide us as we pray, it's going to focus us on on God's attributes. Yesterday we talked about how God is infinite and unchanging in His being, and the attribute today that uh, I want to mention and that's in the prayer guide is that God is infinite in glory and blessedness. God is infinite in his glory and blessedness. And they have two verses listed for us. Acts 7, 2. And Stephen said, Brothers and fathers, hear me. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he lived in Haran. And 1 Timothy 6, 15. Which he will display at the proper time, he who is the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords. You might be wondering, in a time like this, when there is uh, so much fear being spread with the coronavirus, uh, there's fear of, of sickness, a fear of sickness, as well as uh, a, a fear of um, loss of, of jobs or just uh, economic health. Uh, with so much fear going around of things like this, why would we be talking about God's glory and, and God's blessedness. Why, why should we even think about that now? Well, you know, I don't know about you, but I, I find in times like this, when circumstances are difficult and hard and challenging, that it's in these kind of times when when we really begin to ask ourselves and we really begin to think about what, what is it that is really important? What it, is it that really holds the most weight? What is it that really holds the most value? In my life. And in a sense, when we think about, about glory, uh, glory, uh, glory really has to do with how much weight we give something in our lives. You know, a, a favorite, uh, a, a favorite book of mine, uh, and it's really a collection of, of, of sermons and other things. It's by C.S. Lewis. It's called The Weight of Glory, and it's actually a sermon that, that Lewis once preached called The Weight of Glory. And he talks about how, how glory is, is actually something that is, is weightier. It's, it's heavier than anything else in the world. And, and there's a, a kind of, of glory which um, he equates to God's love. It's it's something that that holds more weight. It holds more worth than anything else can. So when we come to this kind of a time in our in our lives, when when so much is changing, so many of the things that that we're used to are 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 changing. Our jobs may not stay the same. Uh, our our families may be threatened by the challenges of the virus. Um, we really begin to ask, what is it that holds weight? What holds value in my life? And God's word tells us that there is nothing that holds more weight. There's nothing that, that holds more value. There is nothing that is, that is more glorious than our God himself. And so we stand on him. We stand on his promises. And we, we come to him in prayer, recognizing that he is the one who will never fail. Though this world may, may change, all of our circumstances may change, we may lose things that are dear to us, but God and his glory continue. Let's go to him in prayer now. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that, that you hear us because of your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that, that he is the exact image, the exact representation of who you are, and that in him resides all your glory and blessedness. Father, we pray that we would be captivated by your glory, that in this time when things around us, when there's so much uh, confusion, doubt, fear, Oh, Lord, we pray that we would cling to you, that we would cling to your glory, that you would be the most precious one to us. Father, we ask that you would forgive us for the times that that 
we have been so distracted by things that are of little eternal value. Oh, Lord, we pray that, that you would help us to have eyes to see as you see and that, that we would value what, what you value. Father, we pray that you would help us to, even in this time of social distancing, that, that you would help us to continue to build relationships with the people who are in our lives. Father, help us as we stay at home, seeing uh, the same four walls and, and the people uh, in our family, for those of us who live with family. Uh, Lord, I pray that you would help us to not grow weary of each other, but help us to love one another well. Father, I pray for those who are at home and, and single, uh, maybe with, with no one else to talk to. Father, I pray that you would help those of us who are friends and family, those of us who are in the church, to call those, those people and to remind them of your love. Oh, Father, we ask that you would guide us this day. Help us to, to, to be uh, salt and light in this world, in these uh, circumstances, in this time. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.